That should work for now. You're fortunate. These seem like surface level injuries. Thanks for the help. Get some rest. We'll be moving out tomorrow morning. Hmm, I could use a drink. You've just had several head injuries. You are not drinking any alcohol tonight. I'll be fine. It's not up for debate. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm, looking good. Claire, it's time to go. Hmm, uh, yeah, let me get the stuff. Hey, uh, congratulations on making it through. Oh, thank you. Come have a seat. So, I know how you feel about this, but do you know where Remy is? No, she didn't win her round. But that's not how... I think it's for the best. Nothing good would come of you two meeting again. But I was... Please stop. I know that losing the people you love is hard, and it can make life feel like it's not worth living. But one more dead woman won't solve anything. You're right. I should just focus on winning this wish. I... I just want you to remember. No matter what happens, you get to choose what you live for. Uh... okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I started philosophizing again. Why don't we go see what some of the other competitors are up to? I'm sorry. I don't really feel up to that right now. Well, if you change your mind, I'd be happy to have your company. Thank you. <gasps> Everybody up. The cave is from we need to get the higher ground. I hope you all still have your crystal shard with you, because you're going to need it to get through these caves. The exit to each cave is guarded by an anguilliform gargoyle. In English, Katzen. Ah, <sighs> an eel. Derek calls them agro aragonites Damn, these names keep getting worse. They can be momentarily paralyzed by light, but it won't last for long. The only way to get past them is to insert your crystal into the indentation in their forehead. But if you do this, you will forfeit the competition. Your shard is a key, and without it, you won't be able to enter the main chamber of the heart's desire. You'll travel through the caves in the pain's eye aside. Work out who's giving up their crystal along the way. Right, cave it. Enter the leftmost cave. My left or your left? Move! You heard the cat. Only one of us can make it through this cave. Yeah, I really don't want to drown. Let's get to higher ground, then we can settle this. Hmm. Good point. So, Kagan, what were you going to wish for? That's none of your business. Fine. I was just trying to make conversation. I'm trying to find my sisters. Hmm. Do you really need a wish for that? I've tried everything. This is my last hope. Okay, now it's your turn. What are you here for? Well, my hometown was destroyed in a war. I lost everyone I knew. I have to use this wish to go back and make things right. Kagan, my child, this is the only way to keep you safe. Why'd you stop? It's... nothing. Ah, uh, this could be tricky. Hmm. Show off.
Hey, come look at this. Is that thing made of crystal? It's kind of cute. You know, when I was younger, my dad took me to see a cave that was absolutely full of bats. He loved to surprise me, so he didn't tell me what was going to happen. So I'm sitting there, wondering what's going on, when suddenly a bat flies out of the cave. Back then, I loved anything that flew, so I already thought that this cave was awesome. But then another bat flew out, and another, and another, and pretty soon, it was a constant stream of bats flying out of the cave. I was completely blown away. I guess it's a bit of a pointless story, but it's one of the fondest memories I have of my dad. No, I get it. My dad was an actor, and funnily enough, his most famous role was as a man who dressed up as a bat to fight crime. That sounds like a really strange play. <laughs> it was a little silly, but he put his all into that role. I loved watching him perform on stage. No matter what he was doing, even if he wasn't acting, he would do his best. That was one of his strongest qualities. I miss him so much. Oh, uh, what happened? I... I don't want to talk about it. I... I understand. Ah, this is why I wanted you to go first. Hey, what's that? It looks like a mural. Aren't those the past challenges on the top? Yeah, you're right. But who drew it here? I don't know. But they kind of suck. Yeah, let's keep moving. I think we're near the eel. What makes you say that? Well, the lights on the wall end up ahead. And I mean, look at it. Of course, you know what this means. <laughs> I should have known you were just as selfish as everybody else here. Oh, come on! You were trying to fight me the moment we stepped into this cave. You don't get it. I've worked too hard, done too much, to lose here. I will find my sisters. But I'm not gonna lose. Is it over? Yeah, it's over. I'm sorry it had to be this way. Do you know how hard I've tried to find my sisters? And after all this time, I have nothing to show for it. You said your sisters are still out there, and if you can search for them as hard as you fought against me, I'm sure you'll find them. Are you two done yet? Because I'd prefer to get this shit show of a round over sometime today. Camp is over there. Why would you take the eel out of the cave? I couldn't figure out how to get it off. We, oui, that woman is rather unpleasant. Yeah, and she smells like shit, too. Ah, my sister. I am disappointed you would lose this early. Is you? That is... 